Hey guys, it's Crypto Jedi. I'm back with another one. So it's been a little while since I've uh, last posted the videos. A little over a month. Uh, I was kind of busy. I started uh, with my classes going back to school um, for my IT degree. But right now I'm on winter break. And so I'm a little free as far as going back to my YouTube channel and talking about what I'm doing in the DeFi space. Uh, just know that I'm still active in the DeFi space. Uh, it's just that you know I'm just paying attention to the crypto markets you know and going through this bear market trying to utilize different strategies to see what I can do to generate income during this brutal bear market guys so first let me look at our drip faucet here that I have here I'm still active in the drip faucet as you can see I have a total deposits of 662 drip um, I have 19 available drip that I can hydrate or claim. Uh, I'm not going to claim this. I'm going to actually hydrate this later today. Uh, my next video that I'm going to uh, have for you guys, I'm going to explain my full strategy. But this video here, uh, I want to just talk about reviving my drip garden. Um, but before I even talk about that, I want to go to the bank real quick. And I want to show you what I have. I'm actually active in the animal farm. I have almost close to $500 worth of assets in the animal farm. And I'm looking to build my position in the animal farm full of non-native assets. And I'm probably going to get a position here eventually in the drip BUSD LP uh, assets. But as you can see right now, I have a stable coin position here. And then you can see that I have an ETH BTC LP position here as well um, I do have some uh, animal farm dogs that I was able to generate from these farm here I have them staked into the dog pound and as you can see I'm not really technically earning anything in that right now uh, because the amount that I have is very little but like I said over time I'm going to continue to build up my position into the animal farm dogs I'm going to continue to build up my positions in the farm as well so as you can see here, uh, this is my personal earnings here. As you can see, I'm not really making much uh, per day. Like I said, I don't really have much here. Maybe like $200 worth, as you can as you can see from here in the stable coins, 132 in the ETH. So I'm not really generating much. But like I said, I'm going to continue to build up my positions in the animal farm. And the emissions rate right now, it went from pegged. To restrict it now so we're not earning as many dogs as we were before uh, due to the price reduction in dogs and pigs as you can see dogs are $35.75 while pigs are $92 a piece um, right now I feel like it's a great time to buy pigs um, as far as dogs I probably will wait to buy more dogs personally directly uh, because due to the simple fact with the whole um, tax situation on the dog pound um, some people are waiting to hit close to their max tax reduction to sell their dogs um, actually some people are actually selling their dogs now to whatever uh, tax reduction percentage that they have currently active um, the animal farm is almost two months old, so um, it will probably make sense to sell some of your dogs, you know, for a little bit of profit. But you have to get, but you have to realize that the people that are selling dogs, all they're really doing is filling up this BNB in the in the vault. As you can see, we have a little over 8,400 in the in the vault, which is worth around a little over two million dollars. So, as you can see, the people that are loyal into the dog pound if they're staking into the linear pool or the auto compounding pool they are receiving a portion of this share here daily so that is a good thing and that is my plan I want to um, take a, pee a piece of this pie from this vault here uh, obviously I can see I have currently available only 13 cents claimable BNB but uh, I'm not going to claim that right now um, obviously when I add new dog positions in here this is going to automatically go to my wallet here. Um, 
But for me, it's, it doesn't make sense to waste my gas and claim BNB right now. But like I said, my ultimate goal is just to continue to add into my dog pound position, and I also want to add my add uh, pigs in here too. So with my next strategy, I'm going to show you how I'm going to acquire pigs with my strategy. Um, with the pigs, I want to be able to buy directly with this because you know with the pig pen you're for every pig that you own the more that you you know you own you pretty much are getting a greater share of the ownership in the whole animal farm and as you can see um a lot of pigs were burned here and as you can see the busd the war vaults is growing as well and like i said i think the with the governance here that i was reading about um there's going to be more active pig pen injections and as we can see here there's six hours left from the time uh the recording of this, uh, this video here and as you can see this is a vote where the owners of the animal farm platform who are the stakers of the pig pen determine how often yield from pancake swap lender is distributed to the pig pen busd vault and as you can see currently the weekly is winning so once this goes live um, we're definitely going to see more money into the animal farm pig pen vault here so that's going to be pretty bullish so you're going to need a whole lot of pigs to really um, take advantage of the BUSD here in the vault and I think over time um, not right now but I think the price of pigs is going to go up once things lock into place as far as the pig pen injections so with that said I want to talk about my drip garden now right now as you can see um, it's been a while since I made a video on my drip garden uh, as you can see here I have uh, let me see if I can find it I forgot where it's been a little while since I've been on this yeah as you can see yeah right here as you can see I have 3.6 million plants and that's only worth about <laughs> fifty nine dollars and seventy two cents now I just think um, many months ago that if I had like over three million plants how much that would be worth that probably would, be, would have been worth over thousands of dollars I would, I would have made hella bank so it's crazy how now uh, only six dollars sixty dollars worth of plants gets you this many plants and as you can see my daily returns are pretty low a dollar ninety nine cents so part of my strategy uh, that I'm going to talk about in my next video involves me quickly just you know dollar cost averaging into my um, garden and compounding and I'm going to use my uh, garden position to quickly up my position in the drip faucet right and I will have a, a certain strategy here to where I'm using that maybe like a five or two day strategy where I'm taking the claims from here to buy pigs to up my position in the pig pen. But I'm not going to talk about that um, in this video. I'm going to have a brief, detailed video in my next video that I upload here on my YouTube. So, um, yeah, but like I said, what I want to do here is I want to up my position on the drip garden. I'm going to DCA into the drip, drip garden. I'm probably going to do a five day compound, five, two day strategy with this. Uh, so let me go ahead and I do have some BUSD here in my MetaMask. Um, $61.54. I might put like half of that into the um, into my garden and I might throw the other half into my um, farms here maybe into you know to up my position into this uh, stable farm pool that I got here even though the APR is low you know you know which is fine um, but that's still paying more than the banks <laughs> when it comes to um, APR percentages so let me go ahead and up my position in the garden right now for you guys live all right, so I'm going to 
hydrate what I currently have, not hydrate, but plant seeds what I currently have here. So I'm going to, let me compound this right now. Let me go to my ledger and perform this transaction. Confirm. So I have that. Let's see what that amount is now. 3.7 million. All right. So now I'm going to go to Drip Liberation to get some Drip BUSD LP tokens. All right. So $61. I'll take about half of that. I'll take about $30 of BUSD supply. That'll give me nine. BUSD up drip tokens. All right. So let me go ahead and pay for that transaction as well on my ledger. All right. All right. So I got that. Now let me go back to the Animal Farm page here. I might need to refresh this page here. So let me go to farms, garden. Okay, there we go. So it gives me 8.97. Um, the reason for that is because there's a tax when you buy. Hold on one second. Let me um, turn off this alarm here. So yeah, what I was saying was there's a small tax involved when you um, buy from the drip liberation. Which is cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm hit max, and, and wow, you can see how many plants that gives me. Uh, that gives me two million, over two million plants. So uh, we will definitely up my position. So let's go ahead and buy those plants. Knowledge. All right. Let's hit confirm. Let me confirm this on my ledger. So now that gives me over 5 million plants, close to 6 million. So let's go back to the stats page here. Let me refresh. As you can see now, I have total grown $95.61. That gives me, like I said, almost close to 6 million plants. And that gives me daily returns of $3.18. So like I said, guys, I have a plan for this. And I'm going to explain that more into my next video. So that's pretty much the end of this video. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. Um, please note that this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just some um, guy on YouTube just showing you my strategy, what I'm doing into the drip ecosystem, what I'm doing with crypto, what I'm doing with the DeFi ecosystem. Please do not leave messages. Do, uh, please do not leave messages on my video saying that I caused you to lose your money because that that actually happened but maybe a few weeks ago and I had to delete his comment because I'm not about to respond to you. Every time you look at my video, I have a disclaimer before the video even starts. So please do your own research, do your own due diligence when it comes to crypto projects like this. This is a risky, risky play, and always use money that you can afford to lose. So all the money that I put in, I can afford to lose this. Um, I have money for uh, my bills. I have money for my play. You know, you just gotta learn how to budget your own money. Don't always put all your money into one investment platform either. Cause like I said, I have some money into stocks market. I have some money into crypto. So. Guys, please do your own due diligence. With that said, I am done with this video and stay tuned for the next video. I'm out. Peace.